So we know Arctic security is a, is a pressing issue. We know that there's going to be a lot of development in the Arctic. And in order to do that, we have to have communications. We know that in the next big conflict, satellite communications are going to be targeted. So in order to maintain contingency communications and emergency communications, and in many cases, even primary communications, we're going to have to have a system that is not reliant on cell networks and satellites. And this is why we invested in Gotenna. And so we're up here in Nunavut on Baffin Island, Canada's north, really testing out some of the Gotenna capabilities and meeting the right partners that have the same big, bold vision to build an Arctic-wide mesh network that is completely self-contained and self-reliant. What we're doing at 1.9, we're here validating and confirming a lot of the issues that we have with operating in really frigid temperatures. And yes, it is that cold. We're sitting here on the edge of the bay at about minus 30, wind chill gusting to about minus 35 or 37. And one of the big concerns that we've had with our Gotenna's, how are the batteries gonna perform? We built a small network just amongst our small team here in and around Iqaluit, and we went and tested it. We rode snowmobiles yesterday about 50 kilometers out onto the, the ice and then way up into the back country. And what we can tell you is after about five hours, we'd only burned about 25% of our battery. I had had my Gotenna radio on the handlebars of my snowmobile. Jeremy had his onto his backpack. So exposed to the element, exposed to the wind. We didn't charge them when we came back in. I woke up, turned my battery on, paired it to my phone, and I was still at 78%. The most difficult part of working with our Gotennas up here was because of the interface with the cell phone, where we have to use the screen or send a text or drop a pin or coordinate amongst ourselves, we had to take our gloves off. And we only have about 30 to 40 seconds with our gloves off before our hands start to become useless. I took my glove off for about 10 seconds. I think my hand fell off. You know, we've got some ideas for how we can continue to develop on the software side of, you know, making that interface a lot more usable. And, and making a more resilient, robust product that's gonna be of, of significant value out of the Arctic.